Hello, my name is Karina Bonner. I'm a professional puppet and prop maker and today I'm going to show you how to make a cat mask. To make our cat mask all you need is some grey fur fabric or any other colour if you want to be a funky cat, some PVA glue, some pipe cleaners, a bit of tissue paper or a decorative button if you have one of those at home, some scissors, string and a stapler. To make your cat mask, take a piece of paper, it's a kind of slightly cardish bit of paper, fold it in half and you're going to draw yourself some cat ears, a little bit of cheek and a bit of a cat muzzle. And then I'm just going to mark where our eyes are going to go and might leave that on. We're going to cut this out. So, using a pair of scissors, just trim around the shape that you have drawn. Once you've gotten that far, just stab your scissors through the eye hole, make yourself a little hole, and cut around to reveal your eye. And unfold your bit of paper and you'll see that you've got yourself a nice symmetrical cat mask shape. Then you take your fur fabric. Now I like to make sure that the fur is running in the right direction. So that's going that way to get our mask to have an interesting texture. And then I'm going to pop our mask onto that, making sure that it has enough fur so that it covers the whole of the face. Cover your mask in some PVA. And place your mask down onto your fur fabric. So just turn this over and give it a good press. Now because I've got a little bit of my mask that isn't covered, I'm just going to trim a little bit of this from the bottom. And put that on my cheek. And it usually takes a couple of hours and I recommend popping a really heavy book on there so that it sticks. Once it's dry, all you've got to do is cut away around the edges of your mask and get rid of all of that excess fur. And then take your scissors and snip the eyes out. Once you've done all that, if you really want to, you can take the scissors and just trim a little bit of the fur down around the eye area. This is a great way to stop all this fur getting in your eyes when you're wearing your mask. Once you're happy with the shape of your eye holes and your fur length, I recommend taking a black marker and just redrawing around the edge of your eye to give it a little bit more definition. And it'll just make that fur look like it's a little bit of a different color as well, which is nice. Right, and then to make this detail, I'll just show you how we have to work the pipe cleaners. Get yourself three pipe cleaners, it doesn't matter if they're different lengths. Give them a good twist and a pinch in the middle. Once you've done that, you can separate them out a little bit. And then, taking a bit of PVA, you can just connect your tissue paper into the middle of your cat whiskers and you can stick those on your masks. This is one that I made a little bit earlier, so just using a bit of PVA glue, I brushed that tissue paper down and squeezed it and pinched it around the middle of my pipe cleaner. So that is how we do the whiskers. And then all you've got to do is use a bit of solid PVA to glue it down to your cat mask. And now all we've got to do is pop some string on the back of our mask so that we can wear it. Turn your mask over, position your string roughly near where the eye holes are, 
And then using a stapler, just pop a few staples in there to secure the mask to the string. Once you've done that, if these bits of tape annoy you, all you've got to do is use a little bit of masking tape to pop over the top of those and secure them down. Then test the mask on your face. You've got to figure out how much string you need for it to fit you comfortably. And then just tie a knot at the back and your mask is ready to wear. So what's new, pussycat? And that is how you make a cat mask.